welcome to Maria Loves to Talk. And yes, I am talking about fragrances and niche fragrances, you guys and gals. Thank you for joining me. And please go ahead and get you some snacks. I don't know, whatever you like, laced potato chips, chicken sandwich, I don't know, peaches, maybe a smoothie. Let's get into this. And yes, it's going to be a nice video, an awesome video but I do not want to make it a long video, okay? Let's do it. So today what I'm talking about celebrities, this is the theme, celebrities and what the their favorite fragrances. What, remember celebrities, I know sometimes we say they're just like us. Nah, not money wise, you guys. So today my theme, what fragrances do some of our favorite celebrities actually wear? And I am doing Creed. This is what I'm, my um, fragrance, Creed. Okay, so I'm starting with, you know who these guys are. You know who this handsome, powerful couple, and I believe they also have fragrances. They also have, um, let's see, besides David Beckham being a, a soccer star, uh, Victoria being a singer, um, and I love that group with uh, Scary with Mel B. Um, she had uh, I don't know if she still have clothes, but I know she had a clothes line. So starting with Mel, B, uh, I'm sorry, with Victoria, and she, I don't know why she never smiles, but she has a beautiful face. Victoria, and no, I do not have it, you guys. She likes Royal Water by Creed. Uh, David wears Erofo as well as uh, rapper Kodak Black. And again, like, like I said, these guys can buy whatever they want. Kodak Black also wears Irish Green Tweed and Aventus. And Hugh Grant also, a famous uh, British actor, Hugh Grant, he wears Royal Water. And I believe she also wears uh, Joe Malone also. So that's pretty couple. Moving on to my next, the late, great Michael Jackson. And here, I couldn't find exactly which one, but they say he wears several. Remember, he also, remember he also loved um, Tom Ford Black Orchid. So he has, you know, he had a lot of money. So he can afford to buy several bottles of Creed. Uh, Iman, let's see, what did I have for her? I forgot, I think she was, when I did the, um, golly, what was the one I did earlier? But I just have, I just love this picture of him. So he has several Creed, Iman. You guys, I don't, I just did that one. I don't remember. You know who these dudes are, these little handsome fellas. And I can't believe it. Usher. Justin Timberlake, they have money, you guys. Several Creed. They can afford to have several bottles of Creed. So there's no one particular one that they like. They have several bottles. And talking about that, I don't even have these guys' money, but I was looking at my Frantica account on my Frantica uh, profile. You guys, I'm coming in closely to 700 fragrances that I own myself. Okay, moving on to the next one, Silver Mountain. And I do have a sample. Thank you, Lucky Scent. Silver Mountain. Uh, J-Lo likes this one. She also likes Indian tuberose. And remember, they can buy anything they want. Uh, Ricky Martin. I love him. Shake the boom boom. Uh, the late David Bowie, Iman's husband, and Jamie Foxx. Hilarious Jamie Foxx. So let me see. Silver Mountain. And I think I smell these when I first got them. And I, again, I had them hidden away somewhere. I like this. This is a nice, fresh, daytime fragrance. It's not going to offend anyone. It's just right. I, I wouldn't call it a date night, but it's a good daytime fragrance. Moving on, honorable mentions. Uh, Daniel Craig, he wears... Um, 007, he wears Virgin Island Water. Okay, Madonna, Tuberose, Florimismo, Indian Creed, JFK, our great president, Creed, 
Vita Veer was his favorite. Rita Wilson, Tom Hanks' wife. Uh, also, she likes Florimissimo. Yes, I know I'm butchering the name, okay? Frank Sinatra, great singer, um, great humanitarian. He liked Boys de Portugal. And yes, I have it. I know that they said, so I read, he just loved anything with lavender. He loved lavender. Let's see. Oh, gosh. This smells good. This, I, I like it. <laughs> you know, I'm not saying because Frank Sinatra like, I like this. When I first, I'm going to put it here. When I first smelled it, I, I was really impressed. This can be daytime. I could see getting away with this special occasions or out and about at a special event. My next one is uh, Creed Original Santel. Let's see what this is. Let's see what this smells like. Nice, fresh, daytime fragrance. Okay, Cree Flor Stay Gardenia, and I love Gardenia, and it's really hard to get a good fragrance, a good perfume that has a nice, real, authentic Gardenia smell. So let's see with this one. I like it. It's light. It's not heavy. Doesn't It really doesn't smell artificial. It's just right. I like this one, Gardenia. Okay, Love in Black. Love in Black. Let's see. Okay. Hmm. I'm, I'm liking this one. It's not date night. It's more like a, a to me, a, any all day work. I wouldn't call it a special event. It's just right. Okay, moving on. Creed events is for her. I know this one is very popular. And I can see why, again, daytime, every day, it's not offensive. It's not going to give you a headache. It's not going to give your next door neighbor at work a headache. Also, almost has like, to me, like an aquatic smell. I like this one. I can see why it is a top favorite. Okay, moving on. My next one, Creed Royal Princess Oud. And what I like about Lucky Sense, the, these little samples, sample vials, they come in different uh, prices, anywhere for like $5. Some of them can be as high, you know, I've seen like $10, $14. I wouldn't go that high buying this. I like to stick in a range of $4 to maybe $7, $8, but I'm not going to go like $14, uh, $10 buying these fragrances. So let's see. Mm. I'm liking this one, and it's, it's not too strong but it has a nice medium strength i like this one and this one could be uh also for work maybe date night i can see going out, out out and about with your friends and family or with your man with your honey bun okay moving on my next one is called spring flower spring flower some of the celebrities who love this fragrance uh Gwyneth Paltrow, remember I told you that she also liked Lasabo. She likes Spring Flower. We have uh, Julia Roberts. Even though she's she's the face for um, that Lancome fragrance. La, what is it, La V Bell? But hey, this is what she likes, Spring Flower. Okay, moving on, we have... Uh, Brooke Shields and Naomi Campbell as well. And here's the great Audrey Hepburn, Spring Flower. Let's see what this smells like. Do it. I don't remember smelling it. I had so many. Ooh. I like this one. Fresh, everyday, feminine. Would it be date night? It could be date night, but not a spicy not a spicy date night you guys okay moving on i know you know who these handsome fellas are i know you know them kanye mr what's it mr jay-z beyonce's husband kim k's ex-husband okay so jay-z and andre agassi you remember andre agassi uh, was brooke shields husband a great tennis player uh these two guys jay-z and andre likes um 
Milise Imperial, Milise or Milise Imperial. I know y'all gonna get me for messing that name up. And Kanye, remember I told y'all these people, these dudes, they are filthy rich, you guys. So Kanye, when I looked him up, I'm like, I know he, I did one where he liked bur burrito or burrito, but he likes Creed Viking. He likes another fragrance that's custom made called AJNE. He likes, um, they say, uh, Kim says she liked him. He wore a YSL, uh, I know I'm butchering this name, you guys. Lahome, L-H-O-M-M-E. And then he also liked La Nue, Lahome. And he likes JPG, La Mail. This guy got money. He's a billionaire. It's nothing to him to... To spend five or six hundred dollars or three hundred dollars for a bottle of cologne. Okay, so let me see what this uh, Milise uh, Creed is all about. This is JC and Andre Agassi's fragrance. Let's see what this is about. It smells okay. Would I want my man wearing it? It's okay, but I mean, not. I would. I don't think I would want my man, my honey boo, wearing it. it. It's okay, you know. But I don't. I don't see what the fuss is about. I'm just keeping it real, you know. That's my my thoughts. Moving on. I know you know who these gorgeous, beautiful people are. If you don't, Sophia Vergara, Brad Pitt, and the lovely Angelia Jolie. This probably was a picture when they used to be married okay so Sophia like Jardine de Amalfi by Creed and she likes Hermes de Marvais of course it's not by Creed it's by Hermes and then um Brad wears Musk by Lorenzo Villarisi V-I-L-L-O-R-E-S-I. -L -L -E -S -S and I think he was the face for Chanel uh, male perfume. And then Angelia Jolie, remember this woman can, can buy anything, have anything. She wears Love and White by Creed. Um, so, and wait a minute. I'm a, she wears Love and White. So the one I'm going to test is Jardine Diamalfi. And I've seen Sofia Vergara's uh, fragrances. I see a lot of them at, um, I think it's Ross. And I've been tempted to get them. And then I read an article from Daily Mail that showed her leaving out of Saks Fifth Avenue with several bags. And they said they saw her at the perfume counter. And I'm thinking, wait a minute. Now I know her fragrances is not inside Saks Fifth Avenue. So again, it shows she's wearing these expensive fragrances. And I heard her fragrance is good, but it just doesn't last long. That's what I've, I've heard. So let's smell what this one is like. I like this one. This is Jardine de Amalfi. Hmm. Yeah. So this is probably what this lady really wear. Maybe this is what they was trying to get her Fragrances that she make to smell close to something like this. They smell good, but they don't last. And my last one is Love in White. Our, form, our former first lady, Laura Bush. This is what she wears. And again, like I told you, Angelina Jolie also wear it. I thought someone, I read somewhere where they said most of the first ladies all wear Love in White. So I don't know if Michelle Obama wear Love in White also, but I know they said um, Laura Bush wears it. I don't, I'm not sure what, um, I don't, I'm not sure what uh, President Bush wear. I don't, I, I didn't, you know what? I didn't even think to look up to see where he, what he wears. I'm sorry. So let's see what this Love in White is like. I like, I like it. Nice, feminine, soft fragrance. This is something you can wear uh, at work. You're a nurse. You work uh, in the food industry or you're a teacher, a principal. Even if you work in the courthouse, you don't want to be wearing something loud like that red or Georgia. You know, if you're working in the courthouse or if you're a female uh, police officer. So Love and White is really nice uh, and it's feminine.
but not too, too soft feminine. Okay, my next one moving on is green Irish tweed. I think out of this line, out of Creed, I am thinking green Irish tweed is uh, the most popular. Uh, here, you know who this lovely couple, I don't think they're a couple that, you know how celebrities, they be posing and stuff together. Uh, we have Sean Combs, P. Diddy, Puff Diddy, the beautiful uh, Naomi Campbell. This lady is ageless. I remember when she first came out, this woman has not aged. She still looks the same. Okay, and also with Naomi Campbell, she likes spring flowers. So with green Irish tweed, when I saw how popular it was, I said, I, I need to get I need to get a sprayer. I can't I can't do these little small. I need to get a sprayer. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I also oh this came from fragrance line, you guys. All these, I'm sorry, fragrance line. I just found this uh, site. Um, they're from Grapevine, Texas. Check them out. Okay, so these are our celebrities that love them some green Irish tweed. P. Diddy, George Clooney, uh, Conor McGregor, Ozzy Osbourne, uh, Sharon Osbourne husband, Quincy Jones, Prince Charles, Prince Harry and Prince William Daddy, Tom Hanks, Stevie Wonder, Russell Crowe, Robert Redford. So you know this must really be some good good juice here for all these celebrities to be and this bottle was up to here i've been spraying it on me all this week i've been spraying <laughs> and i see why they're wearing it and i'm shocked naomi campbell was wearing it because i'm thinking green irish tweed isn't this a man's fragrance this is good fresh crisp it almost makes me think what it would probably be like to be, you know, to, to be in Ireland or maybe to one of those castles. I would suggest, highly suggest you to check out and get your little sample. I know I'm not anybody's spokesperson, spokesmodel, but yes, I like this green Irish tweed. I'm going to put it to the side and spray my bed pillows tonight. Please let me know if you like this video. Share your comments. If you're familiar with Creed, let me know what are your favorite fragrances, which colognes that you like. Um, are they expensive to you? Uh, if it's not expensive, where do you get your samples? Where have you bought your big bottles? Have you bought big bottles? Again, I want to thank you so much for joining me at Maria Loves to Talk. Stay healthy, happy, and prosperous. Thank you. Thank you.